Oh my gosh, I just finished up the most intense bracket ever. Okay, so I chose 32 ice cream flavors and then I did an ice cream wars bracket on IG stories and then we battled it out so hard for the past week. Okay, the ice cream wars is getting so heated right now. It's and we finally know the winner. The winner of the ice cream wars bracket, it came down to two flavors. And I'm so sad because both of them have chocolate in it. I can't eat chocolate because I'm a super taster. Anyway, the final two flavors were chocolate chip ice cream and chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, at least I'm happy it wasn't vanilla versus chocolate because I would have been like, seriously, you guys, you are so basic. Anyway, the official winner after asking you guys last night was chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> so I asked you guys how we should celebrate and some of you said you should have an ice cream social. Others said I should make the ice cream. Others said I should go to the store and buy all the cookie dough ice cream. And so I decided, you know what? I am going to use my ice cream maker that Sam got me for the holidays. This is gonna get crazy, we make so much ice cream. And I'm gonna make not just one cookie dough ice cream, I'm gonna make two. Because I'm gonna make one traditional ice cream with that custard base with heavy cream and egg yolk, and I know, mm, that's gonna taste so good. And then I'm gonna make a second one. I'm gonna attempt to make a vegan and paleo coconut cream based ice cream chocolate chip cookie dough version. I'm gonna have a taste test at the end and um, I'm really excited to see how this goes. I love ice cream so much. It is my favorite dessert in the entire world. And yeah, let's get to it. So luckily I have most of the ingredients for my two chocolate chip cookie dough ice creams, but I am missing a few things. So I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's and get some vanilla extract, um, some whole milk, and mini chocolate chips. I would also like to note that I bought this 25 pound bag of flour during the height of the pandemic, and um, I still have a lot of it left. Okay, I have all my goods. Now, we're gonna go home, make some ice cream. Oh, this is so heavy. Ah. Okay, I've got my recipe, I've got my ingredients. Let's get started. And I'm gonna start off by making the old-fashioned vanilla ice cream recipe from addedpinch.com. I've never tried this recipe before, so I hope it's good. Um, and then we'll move on to the vegan ice cream next, since this one has to chill in the fridge for a while. So I just added the sugar to the egg yolks and it smells really, really nice. And um, I'm gonna be bad and not exactly follow the directions because I actually had a different recipe from the New York Times that told me to mix everything together. And that's what I'm gonna do. I hope it doesn't ruin the recipe, but um, should be fine, right? All right, so now the egg yolks and the sugar are mixed in with the milk and heavy cream. It's chilling in the fridge, and I'm going to make the edible cookie dough meanwhile. I chose this recipe here um, from what Molly made because it doesn't have any eggs in it, any raw eggs, so I feel like that's probably safer. Um, yeah, let's see how this turns out. So I am mixing together my dough right now. I probably should have brought out my stand mixer because my arm is starting to hurt, but it's looking really good. Check that out. Let's try it. I'm gonna try the part without the chocolate chip to see how it tastes. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. All right, the normal ice cream is now in. So now I'm gonna put the cookie dough in a pan and then I'm gonna freeze it, and later I'm gonna cut it up. All right, so the cookie dough is now done, and oh my gosh, look how creamy that is! It is so beautiful. Okay, let's put it in. And I am going to put it right into the ice cream. We're gonna make it so chunky. Let's pour all of it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so creamy, look at that. Now while the regular ice cream is chilling in the fridge, I'm gonna make the vegan ice cream right now, which actually seems super duper easy. I'm just gonna get my coconut milk and mix in the maple syrup and just a few other ingredients and then I'm gonna put it in my Vitamix. It is all blended up and now I'm going to my ice cream maker and I'm gonna put it in. All right, so I'm making my vegan 
cookie dough ice cream base. There it is. And um, I'll check back on it in like 20 to 25 minutes. Hopefully it tastes good. All right, so last thing I have to make is the paleo cookie dough. While my vegan ice cream is in the ice cream maker, I'm gonna do this and hopefully it'll all sync up together. And then we're gonna do the taste test and let's see which one tastes better. This feels super nice and moist and it smells really good like almond butter, obviously, because it's made out of almond flour and almond butter. Um, I'm gonna do a little taste test here. Let's get a nice chunkaroonie right there. Mm. Very decadent, very decadent. Not too sweet though. The vegan cookie dough is freezing and I'm gonna check in on the vegan ice cream. It looks creamy, but I am not digging this color. Um, that almond butter really turned it brown. It does not look vanilla-y at all. Hopefully it tastes good. All right, so I just finished making both of the ice creams. It took longer than I thought, sorry. <laughs> Wait, how long did it take? Uh, I started at 12 and now it's, what time is it? 4.30? Yeah, it's 4.30. Took <laughs> over four good. hours. <laughs> okay, so I made vegan chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. And then I also made normal, traditional, regular chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? It's okay. Salivating. All right. Good. The texture. Yeah. Looks the texture. Awesome. This texture one kind of looks, looks like cookie dough on cookie dough. I know. I know. It's a lot so of everybody, dough. grab a spoon. George, you're gonna have to go. I'll grab the spoon. Okay. Let me wash my hands. Is this a taste test? This is a taste test. You have to be really honest. So this is because everybody chose chocolate chip cookie dough as the ultimate winner at Ice Cream Wars. I would have to agree. I love chocolate chip cookie dough. Let's see how <laughs> George, he's Let's excited see if it too. Performs. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 Mm. It tastes like almond butter. It does taste like almond butter. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Yeah, it's good. I'd, it's say, like, I'd say it's almond butter ice cream. Yeah. It, it doesn't taste like cookie dough. It doesn't taste like. Yeah. George. It's um, it's good, but it's not like great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's We're gonna try the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone. Going in. The color looks beautiful. Uh, I feel, it just feels good. Feels I'm, good. I'm excited. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to get apart without any chocolate. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That is That's creamy. Good. That's really good. Going back for seconds. Yeah, you go back for seconds and mm. I'll take the rest. Mm. <laughs> I definitely like this one a lot better. How are you? This is just a different ice cream, but it's not mm. bad. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because it's made out of coconut cream. And so I thought it would be a lot more creamy, but it kind of just tastes like almond butter slush. Mm -hmm. Congrats to Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put the links to the recipe in the description mm -hmm. box below. But um, yeah, this one you should make. This one's not bad, but you know, it's, it's just hard to compare vegan ice cream to the real thing. Mm -hmm. Although I do love oat ice cream. I think mm -hmm. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.